Bacteria are known to cause several infectious diseases like cholera, tuberculosis, gastric ulcer, meningitis, skin abscess, leprosy, anthrax, and even typhoid. So whenever you are infected by a bacteria and you have a bacterial disease, your doctor would prescribe something called antibiotic. And you would come home and swallow that antibiotic, hoping that that antibiotic would cure your disease. But have you ever wondered that how does these antibiotics work? So in this video, I would talk about more of action of antibiotics. So if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like this video. So antibiotics could have two broad mode of actions. One is bactericidal, that means it is killing the bacteria and other is bacteriostatic. So bacteriostatic means pausing the growth of the bacteria, in other words, interfering with the several metabolic and physiological aspects of bacteria. So we'll just look at that how possibly several antibiotics could work on several aspects of bacterial growth, metabolism and overall physiology. So antibiotics like polymyxin B interferes with the cell membrane and it, it actually Make, make the cell membrane more leaky and damage the cell membrane and thereby the bacteria dies by osmolaritic disbalance and the pressure disbalance. Other antibiotics like penicillin, vancomycin interferes with several aspects of cell wall synthesis. And if the cell wall is not synthesized, bacteria's shield is gone, it is almost weak and there could be osmotic disbalance due to different environment and they are more susceptible to damages. Other antibiotics like puromycin, canamycin, neomycin, streptomycin, etc. can interfere with the protein synthesis process. Now bacteria, like other cells, need to produce its own protein enzymes in order to keep on its metabolic demand. But all this protein synthesis is checked by these kind of antibiotics and thereby it is severely interfering with its day-to-day -day demand of several uh, metabolic enzymes. Now other aspect of antibiotics such as ciprofloxacin, nalidixic acid and mitomycin C etc can interfere with bacterial replication process. Now in order to reproduce, bacteria need to repro uh, uh, replicate its DNA and segregate that DNA properly to its daughter cell. That's how a bacteria can reproduce. But if these antibiotics interfere with this process of replication, then they can potentially harm the bacteria and can eventually kill the bacteria as well. So today's focus would be how penicillin uh, works like an antibiotic and what is the mode of action of penicillin. So here is our bacteria and if we zoom into the bacteria we would see we have the cell membrane on top of which we, uh, we have cell wall. Now cell wall is formed of a polymer of N-acetyl glucosamine and N-acetyl muramic acid. Now, N-acetyl glucosamine and N-acetyl muramic acid polymer are interlinked by a pentapeptide bridge and inside the pentapeptide bridge a peptide bond is formed between mesodiamylopamilic acid and dialanine and this bond formation is uh, catalyzed by transpeptidase. So penicillin in short interferes with transpeptidase action and thereby uh, uh, interfere with bacterial cell membrane uh, cell cell wall formation process so he, let's just look at how normally bacterial cell wall is formed and what is the role of transpeptidase in formation of the cell wall then we can appreciate how penicillin can interfere with the cell wall formation process so inside the bacterial cell uh, in the bacterial cell inside the cytoplasm udp linked n acetyl muramic acid is linked with uh, several pentapeptides by a sequential enzymatic steps and that is carried by a carrier known as bactoprenol which is, put, which is carrying the N-acetyl muramic acid linked pentapeptide to the top of the cytoplasm and what happens is UDP N-acetyl gl uh, glucosamine interacts with N-acetyl muramic acid and thereby it forms the basic subunit for formation of the cell wall. Now as the bacteria grows the transpeptidase enzyme bind to the specific D-alanyl D-alanine uh, amino acid in its active site 
and D-alanine, D-alanine has a specific structure which fits properly into the active site of the transpeptidase and thereby transpeptidase forms a peptide bond between two pentapeptides from the opposing sides and thereby the whole polymer of cell wall is formed. Now what penicillin does is it already binds to the active site of the transpeptidase because penicillin has a very similar structure like uh, D-alanyl D-alanine and thereby penicillin can interfere with the process of transpeptidation and thereby cell wall is not formed properly and many cross links are not formed so it's a weak cell wall which is prone to damage especially osmolarity damage and all this way so that's why ultimately the bacteria gets osmolarity damage and several other damage and thereby the bacteria dies eventually so thereby Penicillin is one of the important bactericidal antibiotics which interferes with the cell uh, wall association process and thereby killing the bacteria. In the next video, we would look at how bacteria has grown resistance against this kind of uh, antibiotics. So if you like my video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for your support.